Welcome everyone. Welcome to the Scripture Radio Podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. So if you're feeling depressed, hey, it's just a feeling. Look up. Come on now. You don't have to stay down there. Look up. It's time to experience the word of God. It's time for us to get some of this wisdom. And we don't have time to feel depressed and be depressed because the joy of the Lord is our strength. All right. <laughs> Let's make this happen. We've been traveling down the road of the book of Proverbs. And now we're at um, Proverbs 13. And we've been taking this journey together. And uh, I want to ask you guys this. Let me know what you've gotten so far out of the Proverbs. Let me know. Uh, when do you normally listen to the podcast and how it's been a blessing to your life and also how we can improve the podcast. OK, so let's start with Proverbs chapter 13, verse one. I am reading from the New King James Version. Are you ready? Let's go. Verse one, a wise son heeds his father's instruction, but a mocker does not respond to rebukes from the fruit of their lips. People enjoy good things. But the unfaithful have an appetite for violence. Those who guard their lips preserve their lives. But those who speak rashly will come to ruin. A slugger's appetite is never filled, but the desires of the diligent are fully satisfied. The righteous hate what is false, but the wicked make themselves a stench and bring shame on themselves. Righteousness guards the person of integrity, but wickedness overthrows the sinner. One person pretends to be rich, yet has nothing. Another pretends to be poor, yet has great wealth. A person's riches may ransom their life, but the poor cannot respond to threatening rebukes. The light of the righteous shines brightly, but the lamp of the wicked is snuffed out. Where there is strife, there is pride, but wisdom is found in those who take advice. Dishonest money dwindles away, but whoever gathers money little by little makes it grow. Hope deferred makes the heart sick, but a longing fulfilled is a tree of life. Whoever scorns instruction will pay for it, but whoever respects a command is rewarded. The teaching of the wise is a foundation of life, turning a person from the snares of death. Good judgment wins favor, but the way of the unfaithful leads to their destruction. All who are prudent act with knowledge, but fools expose their folly. A wicked messenger falls into trouble, but a trustworthy envoy brings healing. Whoever disregards discipline comes to poverty and shame. But whoever heeds correction is honored. A longing fulfilled is sweet to the soul, but fools detest turning from evil. Walk with the wise and become wise, for a companion of fools suffers harm. Trouble pursues the sinner, but the righteous are rewarded with good things. A good person leaves an inheritance for their children's children, but a sinner's wealth is stored up for the righteous an unplowed field produces food for the poor but injustice sweeps it away whoever spares the rod hates their children but the one who loves their children is careful to discipline them the righteous eat to their heart's content but the stomach of the wicked goes hungry wow there is so much um that we could get from this it's just so much i mean it's like where do we start right where do we start in our reflection there's so much wisdom to gain from proverbs chapter 13 and one of the things i'm gonna start with when we're just going to kind of peruse back through and look over it and that's on verse 3 proverbs 13 3 those who guard their lips preserve their lives but those who speak rashly will come to ruin how many you ever known people that talk so much and they ended up losing their life losing their family, losing an opportunity, losing their job, and some people actually losing their lives. Remember, the Bible talks about a soft answer turns away wrath. And some people who couldn't guard their lips, guard what they said and guard how they said it, ended up paying a major price. 
and when we go down to the next verse chapter um verse number four still about the lazy man the sluggard it says a sluggard's appetite is never filled but the desires of the diligent are fully satisfied the person has an appetite but they never do anything about it so they're always hungry but it says but the desires of the diligent meaning those who put forth painstaking effort are fully satisfied that's something amazing and then we jump down to verse number seven <laughs> with, with with you know the advent of social media and things in the digital world check this out it says one person pretends to be rich yet has nothing another pre another pretends to be poor yet has great wealth wow hmm I like verse 12 it says hope deferred makes the heart sick but a longing fulfilled is a tree of life you know we all have things in our life that we're believing for we're hoping for and it seems like sometimes in life things just keep getting pushed back pushed back pushed back or you find yourself in pursuit of something and uh, disappointment after disappointment right it says it makes the heart sick when you've been told uh maybe tomorrow maybe tomorrow i might call you tomorrow are oh, we thinking about letting you come visit us or uh, we may we're thinking about giving you this job and it, and it happens over and over and over again and sometimes we can get in a cycle of hopelessness but it says but a longing fulfilled is a tree of life it is, isn't it a wonderful thing when you see your prayers answered when you see things that you've been believing god for comes to pass isn't that like medicine to us that is just so awesome and i'm praying for you guys i'm thinking for you guys that have things out there you have before god and you've been believing and, and and waiting for a long time and it seems like the answer is always wait until tomorrow or the answer is always maybe i'm hoping that um you that are listening will get your yes very soon or your yes is <laughs> and i think we're going to share one more um And I think the one I'm going to share is, well, three, probably three script, 20, 21 and 22. Um, walk with the wise and become wise. That's probably an amazing statement that most of us already know. If you hang out with people who are wise, you will become like them. So it's like if something is going, if, you, if you're believing God for something in your life, for wisdom, for knowledge, for patience, for love, for long suffering, whatever the fruit of the spirit that you believe that you want to add to your tree. Hang out with those people that you see um, that uh, in their life. If a person is wise, find a way to connect with them. Find a way to connect with people that have that just are full of grace and mercy. And you want to be full of grace and mercy. A lot of people sometimes they hit me up and they say, hey, I, I have a hard time forgiving people. You know, and that is, well, go hang out with some people that um, have mastered or practice um, having grace and mercy for other people. And once you understand what it's like to have grace and mercy and you hang around with people with grace and mercy, that thing can tend to rub off on you and you find yourself more forgiving, more loving, more tolerant. OK, it says uh, um, number 22, verse 22. A good person leaves an inheritance for their children's children, but a sinner's wealth is stored up for the righteous. That's amazing that we're always to be looking forward. A good person, you leave an inheritance for your children's children. Now, does that always mean money? No, nah, it doesn't have to mean money. It can mean legacy. You know, it can mean wisdom. It can mean knowledge. There are so many ways to leave an inheritance. You know, it could be an inheritance of honor, an inheritance of integrity. An inheritance of giving there's so many ways to leave an inheritance money is not the top of the list although we all enjoy money we all we all in this world money is utilized for us to do things so we can live so yeah a good person leaves an inheritance for their children's children you know for me i always wonder you know what my inheritance is what am i going to leave for my children's children and maybe somebody else's children's children and maybe this podcast is 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 something that i'm leaving for my children's children and maybe even someone else's that they may stumble upon this podcast and it may change their life hmm. who knows maybe in uh 21.99 somebody will stumble upon what we're doing and they'll find peace and solace in the word of god with the podcast so that's something to think about but i want to say i appreciate you all for hanging out with me 
for this time hanging out in the word getting stronger through wisdom and i really appreciate everyone that likes scripture radio that participates um sometimes when you first started out it's like you're talking into this gigantic abyss right that you don't know if anybody's hearing your voice but um when you know why you're doing what you're doing that's really um that really that's really what makes the difference when you know your why and you know who you're doing it towards and so i want to say thank you for being a part of this and i hope to see you or talk to you on the next podcast talk to you soon god bless stay safe